Welcome back. It is a Just for Fun Friday this morning on Rising, and we have a very special guest with us today. I want to introduce you to Philip Buchanan. You may even know him before, and he needs no introduction. A former NFL cornerback who actually grew up right here in Fort Myers, and uh, you played for the Buccaneers too, right? Yeah, I played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And... So we've got some Bucks fans around here. So played football, Lehigh Senior High School. Now he's writing children's books. So we've got Little Phil's New Money Friends and Jenny Meets Penny. So. Um, First of all, let's talk about these books, and uh, people can actually get these books and meet you this weekend. Yeah, they can definitely get the books and meet me this weekend. Um, the Jenny Meets Penny and the Little Fields New Money Friends were books and concepts that I thought of because of when I first got to NFL, I didn't really understand the value of spending money. So that's kind of how the books came about. And I thought it was very important for me to educate kids at a young age because I wasn't educated. That's the thing, you know, you don't realize credit and how that can impact you and all of these other things. So, um, you know, little Phil, I'm guessing, is after Philip. Yeah. Right? <laughs> now, you know, when some uh, authors write their books, they have to keep their friends' names hidden or they have friends getting mad at them. If you got any calls like, Philip, why am I in your book? You're bashing me in this kid's book. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, no, well, well, nothing in particular for the kid's books, but I have other books that I could oh, yeah. be talking about other people that they might not, they, they'd probably be a little... Like, oh my God, why are you talking about me? So kind of like that. But pretty much the books are just kind of real simple. More and learning. like, Yeah, more learning, real simple nursery rhymes and just really kind of simple, just to educate you about the, the money system and stuff like that. Okay, so that's mainly Little Phil. So then what is the one about Jenny Meets Penny? What's that all about? Okay, the Jenny Meets Penny. This is the book. We yeah, can show you the covers right and all yeah. that. So Gen Jenny Meets Penny is uh, it's, it's a basic story about Jenny playing on the playground and she meets Mr. Uh, Mr. Penny. And so what happened is uh, she finds a penny and throws it back on the ground and then the penny says, I've been waiting all day with a lot to say. And so Penny introduces Jenny, Cindy, and Mindy to Mr. Nickel, Mr. Quarter, Mr. Dime. Okay, and there you go. Yeah, so they kind of go like on a, kind of like a scavenger hunt. So in your wildest dreams, when you were playing in the NFL, did you ever think, you know, I think I'd like to write some books after this? I never saw just that happen upon it. I never saw that coming yeah. because, like for me, I wasn't the best writer, but I was very creative. So what, what, I, what I would do is write down all my ideas, and then I would kind of let people kind of like go over and say, you know what, like, you know, tighten this up, make this better, and just kind of make adjustments. But I never thought that I would be writing four children books. I would be doing at least 10 to 12 <laughs> novels, sci-fi, drama, oh and, my then, gosh. and then three comic books. Like a true entrepreneur. And then you're also working on a board game. Can we talk about that too? I mean, is that able to be mentioned? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't have to go in depth, but <laughs> just mention it. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I, have, I have two board games. One is wow. called New Money. It's very similar to Monopoly. That's almost done. One of the other board games is kind of more of an entertainment kind of fun. Like Twister, you were saying. Yeah, it's kind of like a Twister. You know, <laughs> it doesn't really go in correlation with the children books, sure. but uh, it's called Twerking It, you know, so you can kind of have fun. Twerking it? Yeah, twerking oh, it. Oh, stop. All right. That, we're stopping right with that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because Jamie's going to demonstrate in a minute. I'm uh, just kidding. All right. So, quite the entrepreneur here, but let's get back to these books and your, your signing at Bell Tower. It's going to be at 5 o'clock from 5 to 7 tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, from 5 to 7. And then where can people find you there at Bell Tower? You can find me in between Brookstone and TGF Fridays. Okay, so you can buy a signed book there. You can meet Philip. Uh, you can maybe talk even more about twerking it or any other business <laughs> ventures he's got coming up. Uh, uh, so then, uh, any other projects besides that that you have your rolling up your sleeves working on? Um, I'm working on a lot of different things like apps. So I'm, I'm like I'm pretty much all over the place. Kind of like when I was in high school when I went to Lehigh, I played football, basketball, and baseball and track at the same time. So I had a lot of things going on. And so my brand is called Octo Cannon. Is uh, so it's more of an octopus because a bunch of legs has a lot of different things going on. You're working all over yeah, the place. Yeah, you know, and then Cannon, my last name. So Octo Cannon. You can look up Octo Cannon. On, uh, dot com and you can okay. kind of see some of my novels and stuff like that. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us and uh, continue to keep making Fort Myers proud. It was great to meet you and have you on this morning and uh, we appreciate it. Oh, I appreciate being here. So, have you back anytime. All right, we will. And uh, you can go <laughs> Bell Towers, you can meet him, and uh, you'll also see Twerking It with Jamie Cagle right now. Jamie